Hey, what's up guys? This is the James New. I'm recording off my Galaxy Nexus to show you how to optimize your graphics to run pretty much almost any game. This will run this will work for Nvidia, Intel, and AMD. This is for integrated and dedicated. Um I will be showcasing Intel HD twenty five hundred in this video, which is on the new Touch Smart computers for Depth from Dell, and of course on all Sandy Ridge integrated uh, processors. So I have Steam open right now, and I used to have the uh, Pentium sticker, which had it, but I don't have that anymore. Um, I'm getting a new computer in a couple of days from the video graphics, so right now I'm just kind of waiting it out. But I figured record on a phone instead, because this will show you what the FPS, FPS is. If I record it with fraps, it's just going to mess everything up. Not sure if you can say that, but every time you run a game, it should ask you to run it in safe mode. Just say no, unless you want to run it in safe mode. Now, right now, I'm just going to show you what how I run Black... I'm running a... As all of you know, I'm running Black Ops, which is a very high-demanding game. Um, I have my settings optimized right now. It looks like complete ugliness, but really, if you guys are all about performance over quality, this is pretty good. Now, for Intel HD graphics and the higher ones up, like 4000s and the new 5000s, you guys will have no problem running this game at medium. So I'm going to try to run a zombie game. And yeah. So if you guys are wondering what I did. Um, I'll be showing you this. But those of you who are just want to get straight to it. You go to your. You right click on your desktop. You click graphics options. And then it will ask basic, advanced, or wizard mode. Do advanced mode and then select 3D. When you get a 3D. There will be a little slider. And it should be grayed out. And it should say application settings under it with a check mark. Uncheck that and the slider should become blue. From there, switch it all the way to performance. And there you should go. And then, for those of you who don't know how to tweak down your settings, do that. 800 by 600 resolution, um, all low settings. You should be able to run just about anything. Now, I can't really record and play at the same time, so I'm not going to be playing. But I'm running this at about... Um, there are a lot of frame drops when it has to render everything that you don't do for the first time. So, I'll go buy a gun. Um, for those of you who can't really tell, it's about 25 FPS stable. It can drop down to about 5 though sometimes if there's a lot of zombies, like around 20. Um, but yeah. As you guys can see, I can't really kill the zombies myself. Here, I'll try to knife him. Come here, zombie. Ah. Alright, yeah. But anyway, that's that. I'm just gonna grab out of that, get out of that game. Alright. So. Oh, apparently my game didn't stop. My bad, you guys. I must click resume game. Um. I actually had it. Uh, Alienware before I had this and I never knew how to tweak down my settings or switch to performance instead of I think it's on all the quality um that's why my Alienware kind of sucked I guess and I gave Alienware a bad review so my bad again I'm trying to look through my phone screen as I record and the phone screen's like a millisecond off so it's a little hard um okay so you want to clear all applications so give me my sweet Halo background Right click the desktop and go to graphics. Oh, properties, not options. Maybe you're used to that. I don't know. Don't really care. Um, it will take a second to load up depending on how fast your processor is and how fast, uh, and how high end it is. Um, it can range anywhere from right up. Yeah, as you guys can see, blah, blah, blah. Basic, advanced, and what is it? You have advanced mode. Click OK. I've just selected it. Now I'll give you all these options. Go to 3D, and usually this is blanked out, and it says uh, use custom settings. Um, it, you'll start off here, drag it all the way to the side. Now, yeah, it wants you to apply. So yes, if you guys are using the Intel HD graph family graphics, which is Intel HD 1000, then you may have to restart your computer depending on how slow your processor is, because it can't change it sometimes. Um, but yeah, after this, then you can go play. Um, for those of you wondering, I did benchmark Black Ops. 
Um, I will not be showing it to you in this video, but what I did was I went and I played without with that unbalanced. It got about 10 FPS, and I switched that over, and now I'm getting about 25. So there is a, definitely a big increase. I'm also playing Just Cause 2 at all low settings at 40 FPS compared to 10 FPS on medium. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Bye.